Hi hey guys, welcome back to our channel Get Play Soon. In this video, we are going to check if the given array is sorted or not. Sorted. Sorted means if the given elements in the array are arranged in a specific order, be it ascending or descending. By default, we consider the ascending order. Now, in this example, 5 is less than 6, but 6 is greater than 1. It is not in a specific order. So, this is an unsorted array. But in this example, 5 is less than 6, which is less than 7, which is less than 9, 9 is less than 22, 22 is less than 41, which means this array is sorted. Now, how to do the same in programming? First, let's understand that in arrays, the indexing starts from 0. Here, we have 4 elements, 5, 6, 67 and 9. But just because the indexing starts from 0, it will end at 3, 0 to n minus 1, 4 minus 1, 3. 0, 1, 2, 3 are the index values. 5, 6, 67 and 9 are the elements of the array. The approach is to compare each element in the array with all the elements that come after it. So, when we consider 5, we are comparing 5 with all the next elements. We are comparing 5 with 6, 67 and 9. And when we move to 6, we are comparing with the next element, 67 and 9. And 67, we compare with 9. We are using two loops. One is i and the other is j. Now, when i is equal to 0, then j will be i plus 1. So, j will start from the next element of i. So, j is equal to i plus 1 to end of the array. i is equal to 0 to end of the array. In the first iteration, when i is equal to 5, we are comparing with the 1, 2, 3 elements. 5 less than 6, 5 less than 67, 5 less than 9. So, sorted. In the next iteration, we are incrementing i, that is i is equal to 1. We are incrementing j, i plus 1. So, it starts from 2 and 3. 6 is compared with 67. 6 is less than 67 sorted. 6 is less than 9 sorted. And in the last iteration, we are comparing 67 and 9. 67 is not less than 9. Therefore, i is greater than j, which means the array is not sorted. To do this in programming, in Java, first I have declared a main function. In the main function, I have declared an array with the same elements 5, 6, 67 and 9. I have also declared the if else statements. It prints array is sorted if it is sorted or else it will print array is not sorted. Now let's check the check sorted function. We have two for loops. The outer loop runs for each and every element that is i is equal to 0 to i less than n minus 1. And the inner loop iterates to the remaining elements of the array starting from the current element. So, j is equal to i plus 1 to j till the end of the array. Now, it will compare and it will check and it will declare if it is sorted or unsorted. Now, let us understand the time complexity. The outer loops run n times which means how many elements are present in the array that many times the outer loop will run. And in the inner loop, we'll only iterate, we'll only traverse n minus 1 times. That is remaining elements, right? So, the total complexity, this is a nested loop. The complexity will be n into n minus 1 by 2, which is equivalent to O of n square because we will remove the constants. So, O of n square, which is big time complexity. Now, let's try to reduce the complexity. So, we came up with the another approach. And in this approach, the idea here is to iterate through the array only once, comparing each element with the next element. If the element is greater than the next element, then the array is not sorted. For example, in iteration 1, we are checking the first two elements, 5 and 6. 5 is less than 6, sorted. In the next iteration, 6 is less than 67, sorted. In the next iteration, 67 is not less than 9, therefore it is not sorted. i is greater than j, the array is not sorted. So, for this, we write the same code. The upper part is the same main function. And in the check sorted function, there is a difference. What we are doing, we are just iterating with one for loop. From starting to ending, we are checking with the next elements. So, in the check sorted function, we are running the loop only once. And we are comparing the next element. So, the time complexity will be O of n. Because there is only one for loop. And that for loop is running n times. Which means length of the array times. Because it iterates through each and every element in the array. So, we have reduced the time complexity from O of n square to O of n. So, this is how we check if the given array is sorted. Thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe.